Hi there and welcome to another Coffee with Column and thanks very much for tuning in. The objective behind this series of Coffees with Column is to take elements of my journey, my business journey, which I've chronicled in the book, Feeding Johnny How to Build a Business Despite the Roadblocks. Take a story, take a snippet from that and discuss the story and discuss the lessons contained therein. And if you enjoy this particular Coffee with Column and you want to leave a comment in the, uh, in the window beneath the video in the blog, feel free. If you think somebody else might benefit uh, by listening to this or watching this particular uh, Coffee with Column, feel free to share it out privately or publicly, entirely up to you. The thrust of the lesson this week is contained in a snippet of my book called Time Management Doesn't Work. So why is it that I can sit here and confidently say to you that I believe time management doesn't work? Because I do believe time management doesn't work. Uh, now some of you are thinking, woohoo, <laughs> happy days, O'Brien has given us license not to plan, I knew it. You can't plan anything, therefore you should plan nothing. Well, that's not what I'm saying at all at all. Uh, what I am saying is that time management alone simply does not work. If time management were all you needed to be successful in life, well then every mother of four young children would be a multimillionaire by now. <laughs> because they've had to learn to manage time. Of course they have, to simply survive the day. They've had to learn to manage time, get the kids out to school, get the kids up and washed and fed and all that type of stuff, and then put back to bed before they fall in again themselves and start again the following morning. So, you know, take, take the example of a young mother of four young children, masters at managing time, but not necessarily successful, if that makes sense, in the business or the financial sense. Not necessarily so. Richard Branson's the same 24 hours. Michael O'Leary has the same 24 hours. Warren Buffett, the world's third richest man at the time of recording this, has the same 24 hours. So why is it that they, in business terms and professional terms, have gotten further ahead than perhaps you or I at this moment in time? And the answer lies in the fact that they've learned to manage their priorities, not the time. They can't manage the time. 24 hours is going to happen anyway. It's just going to keep going on. It's going to keep rolling on. It's, time is inexorable. They've simply learned to do what's important for them to do in terms of their business and professional objectives so that they maximize the use of the same 24 hours that you and I have. So it's not about time management, it is about priority management. And the question really comes then, well, how do I do that column? Tell me how I'm going to manage my priorities. And if you hold tight for a couple of seconds, I'm going to give you some lessons around priority management because, as I said at the start, time management alone does not work. Well, if I'm not allowed to manage my time column, well then, how do I manage my priorities? And I'm going to share that with you in the next 60 seconds or so, stuff that I've learned along the way, which I think will add value to you. Stephen Covey said, the week is the perfect patch in the fabric of life. And I love that. The week, everything that happens in your life happens some point in a week somewhere. And therefore, every week is repeated. The week is the perfect patch in the fabric of life. And it's entirely up to you what you choose to do in the week ahead. And what I recommend you do, based on what Stephen Covey taught me and based on what I implemented myself, is I recommend that you need to, first of all, decide what's a priority for you. What's a priority in terms of the goals that you set for your business and for your life? And whatever a priority is for you next week, you need to plot that into your planner first. So you need to look at the week next week. Remember that the week is the perfect patch in the fabric of life. And you need to plan your week and plan every week before the week begins. So this is the first secret. Plot the week, plan the week, each week before the week begins. The second secret is you need to organize and execute around your priorities. So plan the week, each week before the week begins, organize your week and execute your week around the priorities that you've set that are most important to you in terms of your life and your business goals. And thirdly, simply review and repeat. The week is the perfect patch in the fabric of life. Plan your week each week before the week begins. Organize and execute around priorities and review and repeat. Okay, I hope you got something from that particular story and uh, the lessons contained therein. If you enjoyed it, as I said earlier, feel free to pop a comment in the blog. If you think somebody else would benefit, well then simply share it out privately or publicly, entirely up to you. Uh, please bear in mind the story and the lessons contained therein as you head into your weekend and head into next week. And then, most importantly, come back next week for another Coffee with Column where we'll take another snippet, we'll explore the story and we'll explore the lessons within. Have a good week in the meantime and uh, cheers. Ah, bliss. Have a good one. Talk to you soon. Bye.